much. We get it. Uh, Mr. Mayor, speak to your people. Spurs fans. And, and I do love every last one of you. I must begin by apologizing to all of you today because I blew it. E even I underestimated just how dominant the San Antonio Spurs are. I, I said, and I tweeted since December, Spurs in six. Mm. And I was very happily wrong last night. Spurs in five. 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 Thank you. Forgive me, I'm a little manic today because I haven't been to bed either. But I, I don't need to remind you that your Spurs just dominated the Miami Heat the way no final opponent has ever been dominated. They won by the widest margin of victory combined ever. By 70 points, they beat the Heat. And I just, before I hand the floor over to my esteemed partner, Stephen A., I just want to thank the San Antonio Spurs for being the best basketball team I have ever seen. Ever seen. This team, th this team, no diva egos, no locker room drama, no, no who's going to get the most shots tonight. In fact, all you need to know about my San Antonio Spurs, the MVP of the finals is the one guy they had to push to shoot the basketball. Are you kidding me? Thank you, Kawhi Leonard, for outplaying LeBron James in games three, four, and five. And thank you, thank you, thank you. This is crazy out here. Hang on just a second. I, I want to thank Tim Duncan for playing some of the greatest basketball of his career at age 38. Yeah. I, I want to thank Manu Ginobili <laughs> for last night making the two huge shots that stopped the bleeding at 22 to 6, and then then for posterizing Chris Bosh and following it up with that three that broke the game. Over. That, that was the end of it right there. I want to thank Patty Mills for making so many huge shots all year, yeah. including those four three-pointers in the third quarter. And finally, last but not least, I want to thank my partner, Stephen A. Smith, oh. for not picking my San Antonio <laughs> 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 The floor is yours. Oh, my. Well, obviously, <laughs> I'm in enemy territory, and that's uh -huh, fine. Uh -huh, that's fine. Uh -huh. um, in, 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 all, in, in all seriousness, in all seriousness, I've been covering the NBA now for 18 years. And you're never happy about losing. You're certainly not happy about having your pick wrong. But you have to be humble enough to concede defeat. The fact of the matter is, is that it was no fluke. The best team stands here today as the NBA champion. Yeah. It's just that simple. Um, <clears throat> When you look at the San Antonio Spurs, I've been saying all year long, they were a better team and a deeper team. But come NBA Finals, I believe that it was evenly matched enough where it would have come down to one game. And over the course of 48 minutes, if you have an evenly matched contest, I'm rolling with the best player in the world. The San Antonio Spurs said, we ain't letting it get to that point. We're going to handle this. And, and boy, did they do it. They did not beat the Miami Heat. They beat them down. They stomped them. And, and I got to give the Miami Heat a lot of credit because after the game, whether it was in front of the podium or behind the scenes, they sat up there and they said, we lost to a better team. They whipped our butts. They were just better in every facet. Their movement of the basketball, their perimeter shooting, their inside game, their depth, their coaching, whatever it was, when it is rare that you see a team win in practically every category imaginable that's relevant to the game of basketball. Yeah. But they did it. Whether it was points in the paint, whether it was fast break points, 
whether it was rebounding, whether it was perimeter shooting, whatever the case may be, whatever San Antonio needed to do, they did it. And if you were the Miami Heat, you literally got to the point where you were feeling sorry for them because you were wondering where they were going to get hit next. One minute it's Kawhi Leonard. Another minute it's Manu Ginobili. Another minute it's Tim Duncan. Another minute it's, it's Kawhi Leonard. Another minute it's Patty Mills. And then to close the deal, Tony Parker took over late in the game. You just watched and you just said, damn, there's nothing they can do. There's literally nothing that they can do. And to me, that's what you saw on the face of LeBron James. That's what you saw on the face of Dwayne Wade. There's nothing that we can do. And I think that when you look at it, you got to sit there and think about it. NBA is a game of stars. Sure. We love the stars. But when you see the kind of team basketball that took place, all of those individual superstars basically have been put on notice by the San Antonio Spurs. The league doesn't need you nearly as much as you think we do if you're not going to come in here ready to play basketball the right way because the San Antonio Spurs proved to you what you can do when you're willing to play the right way. I tip my cap to them. The best team in the NBA stands as the NBA. Well said, sir. Well said, sir. I appreciate you saying that. And just to to underline just how dominant this finals was for the Spurs, remember after game two, I sat in this very seat and I had to apologize to Ernestine because I got so upset yes, the night before. We remember. It was because I couldn't recognize my Spurs down the stretch. Okay. They should have won game two. They, should, they had it right there. So, so again, and maybe I'm being prisoner of the moment. I'm being manic here. But, but in the big picture, they, they should have won four straight games as opposed to in five. Well, well I, dis I, dis I disagree there. I don't agree with that. But what I will tell you is this. I don't think you're truly appreciating the Spurs from this perspective. What I saw from the Spurs over the last three games, Miami could have won games one and two and mm. still lost this series. Okay. That's how dominant That's the Spurs fair. were He's over the last three games. He's not a prisoner of the moment. That's how the dominant moment. they were over the last yeah. three. If the Spurs had lost games one and two and still looked the way they looked in games three and four, yeah. they would have won last night, and then they would have went back to Miami yeah. and won in game six. That's how dominant they were over the last three games. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I forgot to remind you, uh, a member of your championship winning team will join the show. Danny Green will be here. Danny Green at the desk. You don't want to miss that. But let's move on to our next topic. LeBron's teams are now.